Hi guys, welcome to EduTab. So here is lecture 29 under your fast track series. So this series is important for RBI grade B and NABARD grade A of 2019 and it's a video series based on current affairs brought to you by EduTab. So um, let me tell you what are we aiming to cover through this particular series. Firstly, we'll be covering economics and social issues current affairs and also the finance current affairs which are again important for RBI and NABARD both. And if you want to prepare the agriculture and rural development current affairs, then you have to refer to a separate series called as ARD in news. So we are covering there the ARD current affairs right from the month of January. So here you can see about our previous results. We have been working in this field from quite some time now and we have some brilliant results. You can see in RBA grade B 2017, there were 27 selections. Then about grade A 2018, out of the 46 seats, 26 were taken by Edutapians. And uh, in RBA grade B 2018, 280 selections have already been made in phase two. We are expecting a great result when the final result is out. So, um, let us start with the lecture of the day then. Firstly, we, uh, firstly, we'll be covering ESI in news, we'll be moving to finance in news and then we'll be discussing few MCQs which are derived from these particular news so that you get to know how uh, the MCQs or the questions are based on these news. Okay, starting then. Okay, so our very first news is about the cabinet approval of the agriculture exports policy. So this this agriculture export policy which was laid down and it has been approved by the cabinet and uh, a monitoring framework is also going to be uh, established for that. So we'll quickly see what are the provisions of this agriculture export policies and um, um, Okay, so let's just start then. So the objectives are of this particular policy uh, to double the agriculture exports from present US dollar 30 billion to 60 plus billion by 2022. So 2022 is a very important year as you know it India is going to complete its 75 years of independence all important things are related to it here. But okay, coming back to your news then. So double agriculture exports presently we have 30 plus billion we wanted to double. Then we want to diversify our exports basket and uh, even the destinations also. So the promotion of the novel indigenous organic stay, uh, organic uh, non-traditional agri pr products to be included in the exports. Now see, uh, you have to tell me one thing that which state has been declared as the fully organic state of India. This we have covered and it is very important. Please mention below in the comments. So. Um, in the world's agri export share also India wants to double its uh, uh, share. Then all these things are important anyhow and I would recommend you to download the PDF of this lecture and anyways um, there are available the monthly magazines which are for ARD and ESI finance also. So um, you can revise it there also. Okay, so our second news is about the cabinet approval of the national mission on interdisciplinary cyber physical systems. So uh, cabinet has given the approval for this particular system mission would be implemented by the Department of Science and Technology. So this is important that this interdisciplinary cyber mission is to be implemented by DST because implementing agencies are as important as the mission itself. So this mission is all about the coverage of the or the addressing the technology development, application development, then entrepreneurship, startup developments in the uh, cyber physical system. So mission basically aims at the establishment of the technology innovation hubs. Then there would be application innovation hubs. So these are some important things which would be covered under this mission. Anyways, that would be it if you get to know what is the mission related to and what is which is the implementing agency. So that would be it for you under your social issues, economics and social issues. Okay, now the important scheme as C, the Supreme Court has approved the draft of the witness protection scheme, which was uh, uh, laid by the center government. So this witness protection scheme is you just need to know what is there in this scheme. And uh, this is important anyways. So let us see what is there. So the draft was the, it is the first attempt at the national level to provide the protection to the witnesses. So uh, this actually prevents the secondary victimization. So what is this secondary victimization? See, it is considered when a victim is already there and uh, he is being uh, victimized again by the authorities which are involved. For example, let me give you that there is this woman who is raped and when she goes to the uh, police station, then uh, sometimes she is not 
the questions are or she is treated in a way that she feels that she is the one who is being victimized again after the crime which has taken place so that is just an example to tell you the analogy of secondary victimization so it has been finalized in consultation with nalsa that is national legal services authority and bprd so they have this and there are three categories there is a lot of important things here so if you go through it that what is important and why is this scheme there that would be enough for you anyways if you guys are reading newspaper you must be able to uh, relate this to that okay so today we have uh, uh, that much esi news now we'll uh, move on to the finance in news then okay so rbi keeps the repo rate that is the repurchase rate unchanged at 6.5 percent so there was this uh, bi-monthly monetary policy committee bi-monthly committee there's this uh, meeting takes place of the mpc and they have decided to put this at 6.5 percent so uh, see you can just go through this piece of news although uh, what is the present rate before your examination would matter to you most so in this way we'll try to see the gauge the news and then we'll move on to the mpc so the bi-monthly statement has been released and uh, they have this uh, calibrated tightening of the monetary policy this is you have to remember then here i've mentioned about the mpc itself so mpc is a committee of the central bank and the government rbi and uh, it is basically the committee of rbi and its members include the uh, from are from the government and rbi both so it was set up under the rbi act and it is interested with the task of fixing the benchmark policy rate that is the called as the repurchase rate so uh, the uh, it consists of the six members three are from the government and three for the uh, from the rbi each with one vote but the governor has a very important casting vote in case of tie so mpc was basically the thing i wanted to cover through this news and repo rate you have to keep a record before your examination okay chalo uh, moving forward then okay so rbi to bring the ombudsman scheme see this scheme is related to the digital transaction complaints and that is why it is important because as the digital revolution is booming more and more people are coming in the coming in the ambit of uh, digital transactions they are using the uh, internet so it becomes important for reserve bank also to keep a track of it so they have introduced this uh, ombudsman scheme for the as you know ombudsman basically stands for the grievance redressal so it is related to that only so ombudsman scheme for uh, for digital transactions and it is yet to be notified rbi is just to bring it so um it will actually include the ppis so i wanted to tell you ppis and we'll cover it in detail when it is launched once so ppis are prepaid payment instru instruments which actually facilitate the purchase of goods and services and uh, they are like there are so many examples closed semi closed open let me tell you an example uh, the mobile wallet which you use or the paytms you use they are also the prepaid payment instruments so all those are going to be covered in this ombudsman scheme okay so we are done with the mc uh, news then so uh, we shall see now what are the mcqs which are based on these news try to solve them try to recall the answer mention it below in the comment section so um, let us start then recently agri exports policy has been approved by the government which of the following are its objectives so this is particularly important for nabard to double india's share in the world agri exports to enable farmers to get benefit of the overseas market to diversify our ex exports basket so you can just pause the video and give yourself 10 seconds so the answer is option e all of the above moving to the ombudsman scheme which is to be launched by RBI it is related to digital transactions digital pcr npas bad loans or none of the above so the scheme is actually related to uh, digital transa uh, transactions pcr we have covered earlier it is very important please go through that if you have missed it which is again related to npas and bad loans together so your answer is option a here okay an easy question mpc under rbi consists of how many members so your answer is option b that is six members <coughs> national mission on interdisciplinary 
<coughs> cyber physical systems is implemented by which of the following this i told you is important the implementing body try to recall it is it niti aayog ministry of science and tech communication and it home affairs or defense so our answer is option b ministry of science and technology because the department under it is actually going to implement it so here you can tally your score let us know about your score let us know about your feedback how do you like this video so yes that would be it guys in case of any query you can just drop us a mail at hello@utap.co.in you can call us you can whatsapp us at this given number 8146207241 and i would recommend you to go and visit our website utap.co.in and you'll be able to avail the details of all the courses there so yes that would be it guys uh, note down the link of the telegram channel where the pdf is available and if you like this video if you like the content which i really hope you would then please like the video subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends so thank you guys i wish you all a very happy learning from the team edutap and see you in the next video